Well, German car makers are also dealing with another problem, a shrinking skilled workforce. It's gotten to the point where several companies are luring retired employees back to work so they can pass on their expertise to younger workers. CCTV's Paul Barber has a story. Emil Camille yeah. retired from Daimler back in April after a 20-plus year career at the German car maker. But now he's back at work part-time. The 62-year-old engineer is in a pool of former employees at Daimler, lending skilled hands to younger generations. We already have the know-how. We know the whole structure. Everyone benefits. As a senior worker with expertise, it's a great feeling that they still need us and that we're still important. Now, the guidance system on this thing is a dinosaur. The only men for the job. Is there anyone still alive who can fix this thing? Are the boys. The scheme is dubbed Space Cowboys after a Hollywood movie about retired astronauts heading back into orbit. You and your entire crew will have to meet the exact physical requirements. But Emil's feet are planted firmly on the ground. He's running a small team tasked with adapting the factory to the needs of its aging workforce. Right now, they're developing ways for employees to sit as they work on assembly lines. Since Mr. Camille has lots of experience, we can learn a lot from him, not just in the professional sense, but also from a social aspect, how to behave with other people. That could be very helpful for us. Daimler has around 600 space cowboys to call on. Emil works three days a week and is paid by the day. Not only does the cash come in useful, Emil says it's a good way for retirees to transition to their new lives. It's also a big win for his employer. It's true that these senior employees are cheaper than external consultants, but it serves primarily to maintain and provide the Daimler know-how. It makes a lot of sense for us as a company. Daimler isn't the only German firm leaning on the skills of retired employees. Electronics maker Bosch has been running a similar program since the late 1990s. More may follow as the country's rapidly aging population and low birth rate deplete the pool of skilled workers. For Emil, he's getting the best of both worlds and says as long as he has his health, he'll keep going for a few more years. Paul Barber, CCTV.